What's up guys, it's Simmy Cheese here, back with another video, now in today's video, I will be showing you how to make Brick Breaker on Scratch. And I just got a new mic, so if there's a little bit of background noise or keyboard clicking, I'm sorry about that. If you are wondering what the final product will look like, I'm going to do a quick gameplay. So the way you win is actually by destroying all the bricks that spawn, and the way you lose is by the ball actually going beneath your paddle. So there's actually 28 bricks, so for example, if you destroy all the bricks, then you win the game. If, you, if the ball goes under your paddle, then you actually lose. Now I think it's relatively easy, so there's only one life if you're wondering. So let's hop right onto the coding. All right, first thing I always do is name my projects so I don't mess them up. So I'm gonna call this breakout with an exclamation mark. Now I always delete the cat, first thing I do, and let's make the paddle. So I usually set my color to green for paddles. I don't know why. Just copying off my other tutorial. So set your outline to zero because we don't want an outline on this. So think about this. This is going to be your paddle. I don't want it to be too thick or too long. So I'm going to make this a little bit less thick and a, bit, and a little bit less long. So let's see, drag that up a little bit more. And I'd say that's a good size. So let's put that in the middle and let's start coding. All right, the first thing we're going to need to do is delete my variable, make a new one and call it score for all sprites. Drag a show variable score into there, go into events, one green flag clicked. If I can drag that out, show variable score. Next, what we want to do is we want to grab a set rotation style, change this to don't rotate because we don't want this doing flips and stuff while we're trying to move it with our mouse. Okay, now we want to grab a X and Y positioner. So X, 130, Y, negative 140. So you actually have to copy these X and Ys or the game will not work. Next, go into control, forever, go back into motion, grab a move 10 steps, Grab a set Y to change this to negative 140. Put that right under the move 10 steps and actually grab a point towards mouse pointer. Put that on top and drag that into the forever block. So what the script does is it allows the paddle to move. Next, we are going to make the ball. So if we go to paint, I'm going to make my ball blue. Grab this blue. Oh, it doesn't let me. Okay, so I guess I'll just make my own blue. So grab this blue. Let's see, so set the outline to zero. If you actually hold shift, you can make a perfect circle. So you don't want the circle to be too big or too small. For example, I think that is way too big right now. So I'm gonna bring that down a little bit. That's too small. What about that, too big? Yep. Okay, I'd say that is a good size. Now let's drag it to the middle and let's name this sprite to ball and let's code. Now for the ball to work, we are actually going to use some broadcasting. So if we go into control, actually never mind events grab two broadcast blocks change one to new message game over and change the other one to bounce if you're wondering by change i mean make a new broadcast so now let's get started with some coding so let's grab a one green flag clicked looks hide by the way we're in the ball sprite events forever if actually that was control sorry my bad operators grab this block right here on the right side put negative 140 on the left side put y position and then broadcast game over in there so this will actually make it so if the ball goes right here which is below the paddle the game will end now let's make it so the ball can move so if events one green flag clicked go to x zero y zero point in direction changes to 135 drag that right there control wait one second grab a forever block and also grab an if block but don't put it in just yet so go to sensing if touching paddle then broadcast bounce so leave that out for now because we need to put in motion move 10 steps if on edge, bounce, then drag the if touching paddle, then block under it. So now, as you can see, the game works. So the ball just bounces around. It doesn't actually go and hit my paddle right now because I haven't told what bounce does. So it's just saying if it touches the paddle, bounce. But bounce doesn't do anything right now. So let's make bounce. By the way, if you're wondering, you saw my hide block right here. I, I actually just fixed that because I noticed I made an error. All right, so for bounce to work, go into events. When I receive, 
bounce. Grab to motion, point in direction. Actually, now we need to go back to operations. Grab a minus block. Put on the left side, 180. And put on the right side, go into motion, direction. Now what we need to do is we need to go into control, repeat until, put that back there. Back into operators, not sensing, touching paddle, move 10 steps. So it's telling, right now all it's saying is if it touches this, it's going to move 10 steps off of it. So let's give this game a quick test. As you can see, now my paddle works and this works. Now let's get the blocks in here that we have to break. Let's get the scoring added and let's get the you win, you lose screens. All right guys, the next thing you wanna do is going to choose a sprite, grab a button to, and drag this up here. So imagine a bunch of these buttons, 50% smaller, we're, we're about to make them, all around here that you have to break. So let's get into coding this. So let's go into events, one green flag clicked, looks high, because actually the clones are going to be the ones we hit, not the actual block. So anyway, go back into variables, set score to zero, and looks, set size to 50. Go to X, minus 200, Y, 140. Now there needs to be another script to actually make the clones for this button. Let's go into events when green flag clicked. Hide. Let's go into control. Grab two repeat blocks. Actually put them inside of each other. Put the repeat that's on top, four. Put the repeat that's on bottom, seven. Now in the repeat that's actually for seven, we need to go create clone of myself. And then change x by not set x to change x by 65 and drag that under that now for actually going into the repeat four set x to negative 200 so drop that under the repeat seven change y by negative 30 and let's drag that up here now let's make it so the clones work and they show so let's go into control when i start as a clone the clones are going to show so drag a show on there let's do events for ever if then drag that right there sensing touching ball then broadcast bounce change score by one and then delete this clone So if we give our game a quick test here, as you can see, all the clones load up here and we can actually break them and we get points. So you actually wait one second, the ball waits one second, so it can make all the clones. So you can put a play screen and stuff and they can make them before, but this is just a simple brick breaker game. Now you can make it so when it goes under, just like this when I miss, the game ends. You don't just keep on playing. So let's go straight onto that. First thing you wanna do is paint, go into bitmap, let's make a white background here and convert back to vector text let's make this red put game over in big capitals let's change the size of this call the sprite game over and now let's code it all right first thing we need to do is grab a one green flag clicked motion go to x zero y zero make sure we go into looks set it to hide now I need to go into events. When I receive, game over. Looks, go to front, or go to front layer. Go to control, stop all. So now we need to mess with the paddle sprite. Go to the paddle, go to events. When I receive, game over. Go into looks, go backward one layers. I also forgot to mention, you should put in the show right here. So when I receive game over, it shows. Now let's make the you win sprite. First thing you need to do, like I said, paint. Let's switch to bitmap. Go into the paint bucket, fill, make it white again. Convert back to vector, make the fill bright. Let's make it green text. You win with an exclamation mark. So I don't know, so it's happy. <laughs> So let's put that there, that looks good. Now let's code it. I forgot, let's name it, you win. And let's get straight onto the coding. The first thing we need to do is go into events, when green flag clicked, go to X zero, Y zero, looks, hide, 
set score to zero. And now we need to go into control, wait until, go into operations, grab the equal sign, change the right one to 28, mean the right side. Go into back into variables, grab a score, put that there. Now looks, grab show, go to front layer, and then go into control, stop all. Now, so it's saying when the score hits 28 after you break all these bricks, then you win. So let's give these tests a script. As you can see, I just lost, so it says game over. Now what I need to do is I need to grab variables, set score to 28. Let's start the game and click it while in game and see what happens. So I'm gonna bounce it once, click set score to 28. As you can see, I win. So thank you guys for watching. Comment, like, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys later. Goodbye.